Um, my name is Hunter Gerritz, and I'm a senior at Abraham Lincoln High School. And I would like to issue a trigger warning for this poem. This is my poem, uh, A New Perspective. The, song, or the music video for the song, Ghost by Bad Flowers, opens with this anonymous quote. Suicide does not end the chance of life getting worse. It eliminates the possibility of it ever getting better. See, suicide is not the product of no one caring or a failure to reach out to people. No, see, it's people dressed in white, sympathetic yet mischievous smiles as they hand out little candies and stickers that say, get well soon, because they know that written words are the best liars. See, it all appeals to our lost sense of childhood and our willingness to feed on anything to manufacture it once again in hopes that our demons may slumber under a dopamine blanket. But the cold is more potent than warmth, so we keep wrapping ourselves in that blanket until it is choking us. Sometimes a suicide note can look like a pill bottle. Other times it's left bottled up and blown away because when people see someone walk into the room with their eyes glued to the floor like it's the only thing that doesn't know what he tried to do last night, they are too quick to put on therapy glasses and doctor coats and write up maybe tries and this could fix it. But see, we just wanna take those glasses from you and smash them into the ground because they make you blind to the reality and that coat is just a costume we wish to strip from you and just say, look into me, not just at me. We are not carbon copy clones of each other. My tears do not taste the same as hers. My screens are more silent than his. Stop treating us like you can line us up on a conveyor belt and dump WD-40 into our veins. We are not machines. We are humans with hearts beating for a purpose and our smiles are waiting to crawl through the black and oil stained teeth. But our head keeps us locked in a constant loop of contradiction. I really don't want to die, but I don't want to live like this. And no one ever seems to care, but I don't want to hurt the ones who do. See, it's hard to keep believing things will get better when your head is at constant war with itself and you believe that your life is in the hands of that war. Suicide is the result of that wrongful thinking and any failure to change it. It's the last flight response after everyone keeps telling you to fight. It's because people are too quick to throw out petty compliments and promises it'll get better. And we just want to duct tape your mouth shut, scream about the darknesses of our mind. And then when we peel back the duct tape, we don't want you to say sorry. We want you to say something like, who are your friends? Tell us about your family. What do you aspire to do? Don't tell us you care. Just remind us who do that. Remind us why we get up every morning. That will help us walk away from a honeymoon with death. Thank you.